Good Wednesday morning from NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. This is Mission Control. You're looking at the International Space Station Flight Control Room uh, from the front corner of the room looking across a, s a bunch of consoles that support uh, flight activities of the International Space Station. The uh, each uh, flight control position here in the room uh, oversees a specific discipline, um, avionics equipment uh, aboard the International Space Station to ensure its health, uh, supporting science activities uh, and uh, living activities for the six-member crew aboard the complex. The crew, uh, again, is uh, focusing on science experimentation aboard the uh, station and also some maintenance work. They've been working with the uh, intermodule ventilation system. Uh, that's routine maintenance aboard the station. Hatfield's been working on a removal and replacement of a heat exchanger unit associated with the U.S. airlock where spacewalks are uh, staged. Uh, there's also been some work on the uh, environmental health system, uh, the subsystem involved with the uh, total organic carbon analyzer, part of the water re recovery system of the station. And the crew's also working on a number of experiments, one of which is uh, the binary colloidal alloy test, a periodic uh, experiment that's conducted aboard this station uh, known as BCAT. Uh, that studies uh, the disbursement of liquids uh, known as colloidals as they are suspended in the microgravity environment of space. So a uh, busy day for the crew once again uh, as they uh, perform work inside the station and on the outside uh, uh, throughout the day. Robotics, uh, once again, the focus of attention as the um, uh, robotic refueling mission demonstration activities are uh, underway and uh, will be carried out throughout the day while the crew works inside. Those robotic uh, activities will be overseen and managed uh, autonomously from the robotics team here in Mission Control.